Hi guys, in this video, we are going to be factorizing a polynomial using long division. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do when you are doing division, okay, long division, you take the first term, right, that is 2x cubed, and you are going to divide it with just x. So this is number one. That's the first thing that you do is you're going to say 2x cubed divided by x, and then the answer you're going to get is x squared. Now, this x squared is what you're going to take to the top, okay? So, you take this 2x, you write it here in line with negative 3x squared, so you'll just put it there. Right, now, it is not going to, just going to stay there. It will multiply x, and then it will also multiply 2, okay? So, 2x cubed times by x will give you 2x cubed. Then again, 2x squared times by 2 will give you plus 4x squared, right? Then you are done. Then you subtract. You subtract it with the expression at the top there. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed will give you, of course, 0, okay? Then negative 3x squared minus 4x squared will give you will give you negative 7x squared. Right, and then when you're done, you bring this down. So you will have, you will have minus 11x and plus 6. I'm just writing it in a different color so you can see that Actually, it was we didn't get it by subtracting, but we got it by actually bringing it down here. Now, the second thing that you have to do is come to number two. And number two, we then say, okay, now let's say negative seven squared divided by x. So that's the second one, negative seven x squared divided by x, right? The answer that you get will be negative seven x and that 7x guys goes to the top so this and this they go to the top it will be negative 7x and just like 2x squared did that negative 7x cannot rest there it has to first multiply with the x and with the 2 and then it can rest okay so negative 7x times by x will give you negative 7x squared if you notice the terms that we start with for both expressions will be exactly the same, right? So then negative 7x times by 2 will give you negative 14x, okay? And then now we can subtract, okay? So now we can subtract. We can basically um, do that. So that will be negative 7x squared minus negative 7x squared, that's 0. Negative 11x minus negative 14x will give you positive 3x. Then what do we do? We bring down the 6. And when we do bring down the 6, the 6 will then be next to the 3x. Then what do we do from here? Again, we do exactly the same thing. We say number 3. And number 3 will be 3x divided by 3x divided by x. Again, and the answer will just be 3. And then that 3, as we said, from here, it goes up to the top, which is plus 3. There we go. Now what do we do? Then we say the 3 cannot rest to earn its place. It has to multiply with the x and with the 2. So 3 times x will give me 3x. And then 3 times 2 will give me 6. Oh, that's nice. Look at what's going to happen now. 3x minus 3x will give me 0. 6 minus 6 will give me 0. So the final answer here is 0. We don't have a remainder. Right, and then we just don't end here, guys. We're going to answer the question, and the question being, say that f of x, with that expression, that whole expression, you big polynomial, because we were factorizing it, right? So now we're coming to report what we have in total. So what do we have in total? 
First, we had the x plus 2, which was given to us, and then now the green part at the top there, which is the 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. Guys, do we have a remainder? That's the question. Do you think we have a remainder? No. So we just have plus 0 here, and we're not going to write it. If, for example, here we had negative 4, then we we're going to say minus 4. Okay, so I hope you can see what we have here. Okay. Okay, divide f of x is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1 by x minus 2. Okay, I've already had the set. What do you notice? We had three terms here, but here we have four terms. Why? Guys, it is important to have x cubed then 2x squared, then x, and then a constant. So it's 3, 2, 1 are uh, those powers there. You have to have that. It's important, okay? Otherwise, you're going to have a problem. Now, let's start. Again, we're going to start with the first term that will divide with x. So the first thing that we do is we are going to say, let me write 1, okay? So we're going to say x cubed divided by x, and the answer is x squared. What do you do? You take that x squared, you put it here, and there's the x squared there. The x squared does not rest. It has to multiply the x and then the negative 2 before it has a good rest. So x squared times by x will give you, it will give you x cubed. It will give you back that x cubed. Otherwise, if it doesn't, there's something wrong. x cubed, um, sorry, multiply by negative 2 will give you negative 2x squared. Now we're done, and we will then subtract. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 2x squared plus 2x squared will give you 4x squared. Okay, we can just have a line there. Nice line there across. Now, what do you do from here? You bring the uh, 0x here, and you also bring the 1. Okay. Right, so if we bring the 1, let's write it in blue. So we'll have the plus 0x and the plus 1. Then, okay, there we go. Okay, in this case, what do you do? You concentrate on this term after the line. We've drawn the line. The first term gets the attention first, okay? So it will give us a term that we will have at the top. So we have 4x squared divided by that x there. And what do you have? You have 4x. You take this 4x, you write at the top. There is the 4x there. That 4x cannot rest. It has to then multiply the x and the minus 2. So 4x times by x will give you 4x squared. You see this term is exactly equal to that term. It's the same. Then 4x uh, times by negative 2 will give you negative 8x. Right, we are done. And then we bring our line and then we start subtracting. Okay. So let's close the bracket and let's subtract. So 4x squared minus 4x squared will give you 0. Then you have 0x plus 8x, which will just give you 8x, right? And there we go. We bring down the 1. And if we bring down the 1, it will sit right next to 8x um, to solve the next question. Okay, so we are here now. 8x plus 1. Mm. So what do we do? Okay, we are, that 8x is, of course, under this line. So let's see, 8x, we're just giving attention to 8x divided by x, which will just give you 8, right? And that 8, what do we do with it? We send it to the top. So we'll write plus 8 here. And that 8 cannot rest. It has to then multiply the x and the negative 2. Just think about it in this case. For the term here to earn its place, it first needs to divide, sorry, to multiply by the x and by the 2. So the 8 has to multiply by x and by 2. Okay, so let's do that. So we will have 8 times x will give you 8x, and then 8 times negative 2 will give you negative 16. 
we are definitely going to have a remainder. Let's see, 8x minus 8x is 0. Then we have 1 plus, but this will give you 17. Okay, then so let's come here and write the answer. We'll have f of x equal to x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1, and that is equal to, we would divide him by, by x minus 2, and then we have there the top in blue, we're just going to put that in as x squared plus 4x plus 8. Close brackets. And then we're going to take the 17 and we put it here as the remainder plus 17. And that's our answer, guys.